Let's talk about Zoom Pizza, the ambitious pizza technology startup that started in 2015 with the mission to revolutionize the way pizza is delivered. We're going to talk today about why it failed and some lessons that you can take in your business and learn from what they did wrong and maybe a little bit of what they did right. Zoom Pizza was founded in 2015 by Alex Garden and Julia Collins, co-founders together They raised over $375 million for this pizza startup. The goal of Zoom Pizza was to have robots make the pizza, top it, put the cheese, put the sauce on, and then have these delivery vehicles that were automated. So when the pizza was on the way to the destination or the customer, it would finish cooking in the car or in the truck on the way to the customer. They thought it was going to be a great idea. Let's get robots instead of employees. And we can take this investment and stand out. Zoom's pizza innovative approach involved utilizing specialized robots in their kitchens to prepare the pizza dough, spread the sauce, add the toppings. This automated the process, which was designed to increase consistency and speed up the production, promising to deliver a fresh and delicious pizza in record time. Apart from their technology prowess, Zoom Pizza also focused on sustainability. They aim to minimize food waste by using predictive analytics to determine demand patterns and adjust their production accordingly. By making only pizzas they knew they could sell, Zoom hoped to reduce excess inventory and contribute to more sustainable food industry. With their advanced technology, sustainability initiatives, and catchy tagline, delicious at at the speed of light, Zoom Pizza generated significant buzz and attracted substantial investment, upwards of $375 million, and it seemed like they were on track to disrupt the pizza industry forever. However, as time went on, Zoom Pizza encountered several challenges that ultimately led to the downfall. Let's take a deeper look, and I'm going to go over four reasons as to why they failed and what you can do to never have this happen to you. Let's take a look at number one. Number one is the product. Ultimately, the product is the most important thing. You can have your Robots make the pizza, you can have the best delivery service, but if the product isn't up to par or up to the standards in which the customer expects, then there's going to be some issues. And with the delivery the way it was, Zoom Pizza just could not deliver the product which they said they could. They were having a hard time with the cheese spreading across the pizza as it was being cooked on the way to the customer, and they could never figure out that simple process. So the product, in the end, was never living up to the hype of what Zoom Pizza was expecting or what the customer was expecting from Zoom Pizza, which ultimately was not a good sign. Let's look at number two. They were not living up to what they promised. First and foremost, one of the primary hurdles Zoom Pizza faced was the cost and the complexity of their robotic system. Their model of using mobile kitchens equipped with robots posed limitations in the terms of geographical reach and the number of pizzas which they could produce. As they tried to expand into new markets, the complexity of managing multiple mobile kitchens became increasingly difficult to handle and extremely ineffective when it comes to burning through cash. They had a huge problem with burning through money. Additionally, Zoom Pizza faced intense competition from established pizza chains and delivery giants. While their technology was impressive, they were up against companies with vast resources, extensive delivery networks, and established brand recognition like Domino's, Papa John's, and all of the local independent companies. This made it challenging for Zoom Pizza to gain significant market share and establish a strong foothold in the industry and in their locations. The next thing was, yeah, their technology was cool, but they didn't really actually solve any problems. Nobody was really looking for a technology-based pizza company to deliver their pizza in the truck faster and less effective than other places. Domino's, Papa John's, and these independent pizzerias really have established themselves as good enough to deliver a quality product in a reasonable amount of time and have the customer's satisfactions met. Zoom Pizza was trying to do something that they didn't really need to do. They were trying to solve a problem that nobody was saying existed. Not only did it not exist, but they were spending a tremendous amount of money on the wrong situations. Instead of trying to figure out how to run the technology where the customer could order faster and be more convenient for the customer, they were trying to manipulate the market when it comes to employees and use robots instead of people. Nobody was really asking for that, and with it not being able to be figured out properly, it ended up costing them way too much time and money to move forward. They also lacked focus. They weren't trying to solve the pizza problem. They were trying to do two things. They were trying to be a technology company and a sustainability company, 
And with the sustainability initiatives, although admirable, also presented really big challenges for them. While their predictive analytics helped reduce food waste, it also meant that it had limited flexibility in responding to sudden changes in demand. If their projections fell short or exceeded expectations, it impacted their ability to fulfill orders accurately and efficiently. Balancing sustainability goals with customer satisfaction and op- operational flexibility was a difficult task for them to handle. And they had to move on from being a technology pizza company and they moved into trying to be more of a sustainability company. And with the COVID epidemic happening in 2020, they had to pivot into producing products that would be sustainable for everybody else to use. Despite their best efforts, Zoom Pizza ultimately couldn't sustain its operations in the highly competitive and rapidly evolving pizza delivery market. The combination of financial constraints with all of the money they raised and having to pay that back, scalability issues, intense competition, customer expectations that they could not meet, regulatory hurdles, and the impact of the pandemic proved an insurmountable obstacle for the company. Sadly, in 2022, after struggling to achieve profitability and facing mounting operational challenges, Zoom Pizza made the difficult decision to shut down its pizza delivery operations. They pivoted their business model and shifted their focus to manufacturing sustainable packaging for the food industry. Zoom Pizza's story is a valuable lesson in the importance of balancing technology and customer satisfaction. So let's go over real quick what you can take away from this. Number one, make sure your product is great. You can have the best marketing in the world, but if your product is not great as an independent pizzeria, you are going to struggle. You are going to struggle to break into the market if your product is not superior to everybody else's. Number two, deliver on the promise that you can achieve. Over-deliver and under-promise. Zoom Pizza did the opposite. They over-promised and under-delivered to their investors and to their potential customers. Solve a problem. Before you break into a market, make sure that there's enough potential customers asking for what it is that you're going to serve. Are you going into a market with already five or six established restaurants or pizza brands that you're going to compete against? And how are you going to compete against them? Are you going to do the same thing that they're doing? If so, it's going to be hard for you to compete in a market that's already saturated with pizzerias doing the same thing that you're doing. What can you bring to the table that's a little bit different? Solve a problem. Be different. Try to be unique. What are they doing that you can do in a different way? And then that's the way that you can break into the market. And then focus. So many places do this. They focus on so many different products and trying to be all things to all people instead of focusing on what they really can be great at and doing that to the best of their ability. Do one or two things extremely well and be the best at those one or two things versus trying to be all things to all people and completely average at everything. It's important to note that Zoom's pizza failure doesn't diminish the significance of their technological advances. We all need technology, and technology is not going away. So don't take their failure as something that is not going to work in the pizza industry in the future. They pushed the boundaries. They innovated. They highlighted potential for automation in the food industry, which I think is important. And while their approach may not have been commercially viable in the long run, their efforts paved the way for further exploration and refinement of technology in the pizza industry sector, which we all need. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below. What did you think? Have you ever heard of Zoom Pizza? Do you think they had the right idea of incorporating technology into the pizza industry? And if you agree, Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video and you want me to produce more of these styles of videos going into the history of pros and cons and why they succeeded and why they failed for pizza shops, let me know. I would love to hear from you in the future and stay tuned for the next episode of the Smart Pizza Marketing Podcast.